Hi guys, this is Rika. Today we are going to understand what is pivot. So basically pivot means converting rows into column that is called pivot and converting columns into row that is called unpivot. So this is the basic difference between pivot and unpivot. In this session we are trying to understand how uh, the table can be pivoted that is how I can convert rows into the column. So for demonstrating that I have written the script for creating and inserting data into that table let's say i am creating a hash temp table it has three columns and i'm inserting some values in this one now let's check what data we have in this table so we will get the better picture about what we are going to do okay if you carefully observe this table you will see the three four are repeated in the first column five six one five six are this repeated no it's not repeated uh, i want to say if you see here three three it is repeated four four three times repeated it means what instead of seeing five rows why don't i see only two rows which will show me data for the three and the four so when i will try to do that how the output will look like the output will look like like three will come in a first column then next is phase id that phase id will go into the column so three five five right okay three it is in row and the second and the column will be phase id five phase id six and let's say different different value one or anything getting point yeah so uh, let's try to uh, understand this is very important this is the table which is unpivoted right but i want to do this table with pivot i want to see the result as a pivoted result so instead of seeing the five result i will just see the two result how i can do that we can do it by using pivot so for demonstration purpose i have written the script i will try to explain so that it will be more it will be easy for us right so first of all we have to consider our base table from where we are taking the data now i have this table has name right in this table i have how many column i have three column element id phase id and effort so syntax for using pivot is that we have to use pivot in inside the pivot note this is the allies for this pivot table so result of this will come and this will be as allies so we are using max max of the numeric value max of what max of effort max of effort first for what for phase id phase id will be in we have to specify that it may be one five six or anything how many column you want let's say i i write like any random value it may be the possibility like three something kind of thing right so the, what are, what we have written it's very simple actually just we have to specify the what column heading we have to see we i want to see one five six three right because it has the data so i'm um, what i'm checking i'm checking phase id if you see here phase id what the value phase id have phase id have one five six and three so i want to see the result in a such a way this one five six three will come as a column and i want to see the result let's say if i am executing this and let's say i don't want to write anything i just want to write here p something like p dot hash, all the column of this so when i'm going to execute this query what will i get let's see if you see here i'm getting twice element id because element id is already there so i can remove this element id okay now let's compare the base table first so we'll have the better picture about what we have done 
if I execute this two query and if you are trying to compare this two result what will the difference you will find the first thing you will see here 3 3 are repeated in the first result that's 5 6 1 5 6 right so I uh, what the results I have the I have the output that is pivoted so you can see here 3 is one time then column 1 5 6 3 I will see the values so this is the way we can understand what is pivoting let's hope you like this video please don't forget to like and share video thanks